Now, something that can kind of confuse students is when we look, we're looking for chiral centers, we ask ourselves, well, is it, you know, are there really four different groups? And give them a ring and ask them, is this, does it contain chiral centers? And they say, well, it's a ring, I don't really know. So, trick with working with rings. Let's say if we want to know this carbon or this carbon is chiral. Well, if we look at this carbon, we have a carbon, we have a hydrogen on either side, and what we're going to do is we're going to look at the ring as if it were an alkyl group. And if we're going to go this way, we're going to look like it's an alkyl group, and if we cut it, cut it off right there. So we have carbon with CH3, an OH, and then one, two, three, more carbons. If we go down, we got one, two, three carbons. Next one's got an OH, and the next one's got a CH3. So, off the bat, you probably said, well, I can discount it as a chiral center because there's two hydrogens, and that's correct. But we're kind of building to the more complicated one, which is the blue one here. So, this is obviously a chiral because we have two hydrogens. What about the one that contains the alcohol, the OH group? Well, if we look at the blue carbon, we have an OH, and we're doing relative configurations here, so whatever side, either side you want to put the hydrogen on for now, it doesn't matter. But, if we go down, we have that carbon, CH3 group hanging off of it, and one, two, three, four more carbons. If we go this way, we've got one, two, three, four carbons, and then another one containing a CH3 group. So we can see looking at this, we have two different groups coming off this particular carbon. So we've got no H group, H, and then we have something that's going to be a 2-methyl and one that's going to be a 6-methyl. So we definitely have a chiral center here, and if we repeat the exercise for the CH3 here, we're going to see the exact same answer. So in terms of working with rings, the best way to deal with it to see if you're actually getting unique um, groups around the carbon, meaning that the carbon has four different groups around it, basically, when you go one way, pretend that you've broken the ring and write it out that way. When you go the other direction, pretend you broke it off at the other side and write out the ring there. Now, also, full disclosure, you probably don't have to go that far. Um, if I really hate you, I'd give you something like decane, where you'd have to draw write all these carbons. You should be able to tell pretty quickly, just looking around the carbons, that this direction is going to be different than this direction, just from the fact of the, me fact of the methyl groups there. But this is how you figure out if you've got chiral centers if you're looking at rings.